It's that time again, time for children's worship. We are glad you're here today. Make sure that you have some room to move around in case you want to dance as we sing. And you need your worship bulletin so you can color at the end of the lesson. I'm so glad to be with you today. Happy Sunday. We're excited that you're worshiping with us this morning. If you don't remember me, and I know I haven't seen you in a long time, I'm Mrs. Smith, or some people might know me as Miss Erin, or some people probably know me best as Allie and Harrison's mommy. But I'm so glad that you're here for children's worship. Welcome. What's so cool is that even if you're at home, even if you're not um, in the physical building of uh, church today, we can worship God anywhere. We can worship Him from home. We can worship Him when we're at school. We can worship Him when we're in the car. We can worship Him wherever we are. So, we are excited that you're here today. Let me pray for us and then we're going to get started, okay? We're going to have some music. We're going to learn about a Bible story and, um, and uh, we're so glad you're here with us this morning. So let me pray for us, okay? God, thank you for each child here this morning. Thank you for each boy and girl. And I pray that you would help their hearts to focus and to learn about you today. And we thank you that we can know you through your son, Jesus. Amen. Hi, guys. Time to sing another song. This one is called Fairest Lord Jesus, and it is one of my favorite songs to sing, so I'm glad that I get to sing it with you today. I'm going to read the words because it's really short. The words are Fairest Lord Jesus, ruler of all nature, son of God and son of man. Thee will I cherish, thee will I honor, Thou, my soul's glory, joy, and crown. Do you know what it means to cherish something? Do you have a toy or maybe a friend or your mom and dad? You just feel it's so special and you love them so much and you just want to hold them close. They're very dear to you. That's what it means to cherish. I also like that it says ruler of all nature. How... Jesus is in control of all of nature. Do you know in the Bible it says, even if there is no one to praise Jesus, that the rocks would cry out. Even the rocks. Rocks and trees all are in the power and care of our Lord. Um, one thing that is sometimes funny in old hymns, it says, thee will I cherish. And that's just another way of saying you. They used to say the instead of you. So it's talking about we're saying you, Jesus. All right, are you ready? Like always, we'll sing it through a couple times. Okay, here it is, Fairest Lord Jesus. Fairest Lord Jesus, ruler of all nature, Son of God and Son of Man, Thee will I cherish, Thee will I honor, Thou my soul's glory, joy, and 
let's sing it through one more time. Such a pretty song, isn't it? Here we go. Fairest Lord Jesus, ruler of all nature, Son of God and Son of Man, Thee will I cherish, Thee will I honor, Thou my soul's glory, joy, and crown. This song is called, Oh Be Careful Little Eyes What You See. And it's a song about how we can show our love for God through our actions. Now you will see in the Bible that God will say many times, if you love me, obey my commands. And that's how we show God our love, by using our bodies to obey his commands. And we know some things that God loves are kindness and sharing, love and thankfulness. So instead of using our hands to hit, we use our hands to hug. Or instead of using our hands to take, we use our hands to give and to share. We use our mouths instead of yelling and getting angry. Uh, we use our mouths to say thank you or to encourage someone, say you're doing a good job or to say, I love you. We use our ears um, by what we listen to. One, we can listen to our parents. When they ask us to do something, we use our ears to listen and to obey. Um, we listen, we can listen to good music, words that are sung that honor God. The Bible also talks about um, singing to God in singing with other believers. And so you would hear the songs that other people sing, that other believers sing to God. And then lastly, we also use our mind. One way we use our mind is by what you're already doing. You're memorizing your memory verses by putting a God's word into our minds and so that it lives in our hearts. And that's another way we can show God our love for him. And that is pleasing to God. You see in the song that it says he's looking down in love because that pleases him. Now we know that God is actually a spirit and he's everywhere. He's not just up in heaven looking down on us. He's actually here with us. And if we um, have put our faith in Jesus, he actually lives in our hearts. But um, the song just means that it's pleasing to God, um, that he looks at us with love and he, he enjoys it when we use our bodies to obey him. So let's sing, oh be careful little eyes what you see.
Zonda Kids presents The Jesus Storybook Bible Every story whispers his name Written by Sally Lloyd-Jones And read by David Suchet Treasure Hunt One day, Jesus was telling people about God's kingdom. God's kingdom is wherever God is king, Jesus told them. It's wherever God is in charge. It's where he fills your heart up with his forever happiness, and you stop running away from him, and you love him. But sometimes people couldn't understand things very well, so Jesus helped them by telling them stories called parables. Jesus said, God's kingdom is like a hidden treasure. And then he told them this story. Once upon a time, there was a man working in a field digging. So there he is digging. But what he doesn't know is that in that field, there is buried treasure. So dig, 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 clink, clank, clonk. Uh-uh. His shovel bumps into something hard. Hello, what's this? He picks it up, dusts it off. It's a chest. It's rusted and locked, but... He pries it open, and what he sees inside takes his breath away. Beautiful, glittering, gleaming, twinkling, sparkling, precious jewels. It's a treasure chest. He wants that treasure. He needs to get that treasure. He must have that treasure somehow, even if he has to sell everything he has so he can pay for it. He quickly buries the treasure again, runs home and sells everything he has. He takes the money from the sale and goes and buys that field. Now he owns the field and the treasure that is buried in it. He runs back and digs up the treasure again. Jesus said, Coming home to God is as wonderful as finding a treasure. You might have to dig before you find it. You might have to look before you see it. You might even have to give up everything you have to get it. But being where God is, being in his kingdom, that's more important than anything else in all the world. It's worth anything you have to give up, Jesus told them. Because God is the real treasure. God had a treasure too, of course. A treasure that was lost long, long ago. What was God's treasure? His most important thing? The thing God loved best in all the world? God's treasure was his children. It was why Jesus had come into the world, to find God's treasure and pay the price to win them back. And Jesus would do it, even if it cost him everything he had. Okay, it's time to think about what we learned today. Being in the kingdom of God is as wonderful as finding hidden treasure. It is worth anything you have to give up because Jesus is the real treasure. I want you to think about what did you learn about Jesus today? What did you learn about him being your treasure? It's time for the follow me prayer. Repeat after me as I say each part slowly. And of course, you can always just pray silently to yourself. Let's fold our hands and bow our heads and close our eyes. Father God, you are wonderful. Thank you that Jesus is our treasure. We praise you for loving us and for giving us all that we need. With you, all things are possible. Help us 
to trust in you this week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We will now close our time saying the Lord's Prayer together. You can pray along with me aloud, or you can pray quietly to yourself. The words are written on the screen for you. Let's pray as Jesus taught us to pray. So let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Hi again, children. I hope you had a great time this morning. I'm glad that you were able to worship with us from home. And remember that we can worship anywhere, anytime. We can always talk to God. We can always pray to Him. It's so awesome. So something that I want you to do really quick before we wrap up today, I want you to close your eyes with me just for a couple of seconds. Does everybody have their eyes closed? Okay, I want you to think about what's one thing that you learned today. Just one thing. Okay, you have it? You have it in your mind? Okay, I want you to tell your parents after they're done with church. Um, you can talk about it over lunch maybe. What's the one thing that you learned today? Um, I hope you enjoyed singing with us and um, being here with us. We are so thankful for you and God loves you very much. See you next week. Now that it's February, we still have the Memory Verse video challenge going on. There are two new verses that you can learn and record yourself on video saying either one or both of the verses. You can say this together with your whole family. You could say it by yourself. Um, you could try to be have your stuffed animals and your dolls around you when you say it. However you want to do it. But I encourage you to try to do the Memory Verse video challenge. One of our children's worship um, CCC kids did the Memory Verse challenge this past month in January. So you're going to get to watch Mabel swing. Congratulations, Mabel. Great job. As she says, the January verse. Um, four, 14. Four, and we have seen and testified... For the Father has sent his Son to be the Savior of the world. in heaven where mop and rust do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven where mop and rust do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal for where your treasure is there your heart will be also for where Where your treasure is, store up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Where moth and rust do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Where moth and rust do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. Where your treasure is
says that your heart will be also for where your treasure is. That your heart will be also for where your treasure is. That your heart will be also. of God. 